Every once in a while, I listen to these podcasts by people in the tech industry, mostly tech bros, and I use that that term as a term of endearment. Um, that are that that they talk about their sort of life and the things that they're doing. They're taking things like LSD. They're taking things like mushrooms. They are you know having these weird routines where. They meditate for 67 seconds and every minute, you know, they, they do these things where they get up at 4 a.m. and work out for three hours a day. You know, all these kind of weird things or journaling or however it might be. And I just think to myself with all of these things, it's like, I just can't relate. I am so distant from them. And it might be just because that, you know, I'm a professor. I study innovation. That's my thing. I study technology. So um, I, you know, I, I kind of understand the world, but I don't understand it at all. I don't get it. Um, I don't understand the sort of cultural phenomenon that goes on with some of these things. I actually don't think when I listen to those podcasts from um, some individuals, I won't name who they are, but I just think that we listen to them because they're just so extraordinary. The problem is, is that we often hear, we try to generalize from these things or kind of, you know, sort of success. Um, you know, this is what it takes to be successful. And it's all these weird and unusual things that just don't fit in with most people's lives. And I think, I think by default, if you could do all of those kind of things, you're likely a weird and unusual person that will probably do um, you know, probably do amazing things because they're so unusual and they sort of don't fit out. I don't think it's causal in any sort of way, but I just think that they're weird and unusual things that, that people just end up doing. But, you know, here's the thing with all of those things. It just does not resonate, I think, with almost everybody. And maybe that's, that's the thing, right? Like, you know, maybe that's, that's what's going on is that everybody is sort of walking one way and then there is this small group of people that are doing something completely different. Like, I don't know, I mean, I'm probably, I don't know a lot of people that have taken LSD or, you know, do this on a, to the to Hiawasa or whatever, right? Like, licking the frog kind of thing. Um, I don't know a lot of people in my life that has done that, but I'm sure that there actually is. There's probably more than I think, but I don't know a lot of people that do that on a regular basis. Um, and, you know, I, I think about all these kind of things that are so strange in, in that just don't really fit in with how I view the world and how things actually work. Um, you know, I just think in my life and perhaps in your life, I'm just pretty normal. Um, you know, <laughs> this is my excitement for the day. I look forward to this, going for a nice little walk and maybe doing a little, you know, YouTube video or something like that. Just, you know, this is, this is my excitement. That's how, how, um, <laughs> I just think it's ultimately too hilarious to listen to all of these conversations and how detached um, that world actually is from most people. And I think it's, you know, on, on one side, it's very humorous to sort of hear the, um, you know, just hear it, how, how strange it actually is. The strange we are like peering in through, you know, the peephole of, of somebody else's life and seeing how, oh, that's way different than mine. But, but you know, on, in all social classes, um, you know, two things to take away, right? So the first thing is, it's actually really scary um, that a lot of people that have these unusual beliefs um, actually have a, a lot of power in terms of what they could do and, and you know, what, um, you know, what they, they do both in the tech industry, but also in, in all walks of life, right? Like there's, there's people that just, I don't get it. I don't get who they are. I don't understand their life and what they're doing. They're not really representative of of who I am and most people that I would probably try to know, but they wield a lot of power. Um, and then, And then the second thing I think 
is to recognize that everybody is different. Um, you know, we have these sort of social classes that exist. They truly do exist, right? We have these sort of pockets. They're not nice necessarily the social class that you might think of them, but there's kind of like pockets, I would say, or ecologies. Um, I don't know what the exact word is, but we sort of cluster together in different ways um, as, as human species. But you know what the, the interesting thing is, is looking in from the outside in always looks weird, right? It always looks unusual when you're in it. You're like, oh, of course, this is what we do. We go and lick a frog every weekend. Um, you know, but, but from the outside, it looks really strange. Um, so I think like, first of all, um, if you're going through this and if you're, you know, somebody is peering in from the outside in, um, you know, that's your life. That's awesome. Good on you. <laughs> um, and secondly, I just want to remind everybody that the world is really different. Uh, and, and despite the fact that you think that you sort of understand how the world works, and that this is including me, I think how the world works, everybody's life is completely different. We can't really make sense of it very well. We can't generalize it from it very, very well. Um, the only thing we could do is smile and nod when you hear these interesting stories. Um, oh, that was the other thing I wanted to say is the lessons, and I try to teach this a lot, the lessons that some people have, um, and they think it's sort of, you know, a causal relationship. And this is including the lessons that you might get from, from anything that I say, where I think that there's a causal relationship. It's often not, not a causal relationship that, um, you know, they just have a weird and unusual life that is not very representative of everybody else. So just be careful when you're making inferences um, from other people's sort of success stories. They don't map very well into your life. I mean, if you're somebody that and this is much more closer to my story um, in terms of who I am, is that if you're somebody that's in middle America and you know, you, my parents didn't finish high school, right? <laughs> like, um, you know, if if you're somebody like that um, and your life just seems so much different, live your life. You, the only thing that you could do is work on improving what's going on right in your immediate vicinity. You can't, I mean, it makes no sense to generalize or to gain lessons from them. What I would do is sort of think of your life instead is like something like, um, like doing little New Year's resolutions all of the time, right? Like think about how you can improve one little tiny thing, right? So maybe you overeat and, you know, I'm not making fun of anybody like this, but maybe, maybe you're, you're, you know, you're, you're overweight by four or 500 pounds, right? Like you're, you're quite big. Um, well, you know, instead of listening to tech bros, <laughs> sort of having these unrealistic expectations on what everybody else is and how you're thinking. Um, what I would do is, you know, maybe you really love Ritz crackers. Well, think of a, a slightly healthier version of Ritz crackers I can substitute for that. And just do those little tiny things, right? It's the addition of little tiny things. Like, you know, my son, for example, um, he was feeling bad about not going to the gym for, for like an hour and a half every day. I was like, dude, you're going to the gym. If you go for 10 minutes and you push a little bit of weight here and there, this is better than what most people are doing. Have that perspective. Man, things just change in your life. Don't listen to all of the things that are completely unrealistic. You don't need to get up at four in the morning and, and, and do push-ups on your head to do you know, you don't have to lick a frog. You don't have to do all those kind of things. You just live your life, do one little thing a little bit better every day or every other week or once a month, whatever, target it and good things are gonna happen. And it's a slow, slow, crazily slow process. 
for most people. It's brutal. And that's why most people quit. It's not because they're not licking a frog. It's because it's so hard to maintain and keep things going for a long time. All right, take care and have a wonderful day.